tried hard to open up our local council to the community so the community could see how decisions were made. Instead, the Conservative councillors stopped my moves. That's why we need a Progressive Council on Newcastle Council. There have been some wins though in the last few years. The council has stood up for the community with regards to the development that's occurring in the port. Uh, the council has uh, put in submissions to the state government, lobbying the government to improve the air quality around the suburbs that surround the port. I take very seriously the role of a councillor as defined in the Local Government Act, which is to act in the best interests of residents and ratepayers, to show leadership to the community and to act as a conduit between the community and the council. One of the bad decisions of the last few years has been to uh, increase the role of secret workshops in this council, where discussions occur behind closed doors, away from the community, away from the media, and those decisions then come back to the, the, the council. One of the good decisions in the last few years is when the elected council adopted my motion unanimously to develop a comprehensive Newcastle cycling strategy and action plan. That strategy has now been developed in close engagement with the community, with cycling advocates, health professionals, with the university and with council staff. That strategy has gone on exhibition so that the public can comment. Those comments have been taken on board and now that comprehensive cycling strategy and action plan has been adopted by the elected council. In addition, in the last budget, now almost $16 million over 10 years has been allocated to implement that cycling strategy. That's one of the good news stories of the last four years of Newcastle Council. We need a council that stands up for the community in terms of inappropriate development. We want to see appropriate development occur in Newcastle, development that doesn't impact on local residents. In the last four years there's been some positive changes in, in how waste is managed in Newcastle. There's been the introduction of the third bin and while that had its problems, it is a good thing. But more work needs to be done. We need to minimise the amount of waste that's generated and Council needs to take a, a lead role in pushing waste minimisation across the city. Newcastle Council has supported my motion to lobby the state and federal government to introduce container deposit legislation. So we need container deposit legislation so that residents across Newcastle can get money back on drink containers, aluminium cans and bottles, just like we did when we were younger. If you care about public transport and safe connected cycleways, about good development decisions, about economic decision making that puts people first, and about preserving our natural assets and our heritage assets in Newcastle, then you should vote Green at this council election.